This is Pat Gunn, and uh, this is Skyrim. And we are heading over to grab Azura's Star. And uh, if we can manage to, to grab it, maybe. Well, it's right there. Maybe. Okay, so this is one of the downside, uh, one of the problems. Sometimes in Skyrim, uh, objects spawn, and but they're stuck a little bit in something else, and you have to make a bit more effort to grab them. Oh come on! Maybe from this angle. This angle, this angle, okay, a little bit ridiculous here, but Skyrim is sometimes a bit of a buggy game. Grab a ring, this angle, oh come on, okay, so there is a solution. It's not always the most fun solution. If you step outside and step back inside, sometimes things will be put back into the map in a way that uh, that you'll find you'll have an easier time grabbing them. Sometimes, not always, but we will give it a go. Okay, so we are up on top of one of the uh, ruined towers, and then we will head back down into it. So dealing with the, the bugs in Skyrim is actually a fairly normal topic. Aha, there we go. Got it this time. Uh, on the Skyrim uh, wikis, so there's actually two of them. Uh, and uh, and the uh, among this, uh, the Skyrim uh, player community, there's a lot of uh, a lot of work uh, involved in, um, uh, at times, in fixing broken quests because sometimes if you just talk to people in the wrong order, the quest system will get confused. Or the system that attempts to take a preset quest and place it into uh, one of among a random set of dungeons that you uh, haven't been to yet, sometimes that gets confused and You'll just never be able to get uh, to uh, to get a quest at all. Disappointing when it happens, the exact nature. You but you just have to uh, cope. So let's head back and say hi to Chisarco, who I believe will be traveling with us from now on. So this is, okay, we could take her with us, we could take him with us, but we're going to wait for Jisargo. Where is he? Oh, I got this room wrong. I hear you found some, and with the Magnificent? Oh, Jisargo. This was not the intention to be, but you are not. Still, you are a good friend to Gisargo now for taking this. Then lead on, friend. Okay, cool. So from now on, uh, Gisargo will be on. hanging out with us and helping in combat, which is really useful. Apparently, he doesn't mind uh, leaving the college. I'm working on some very important. Oh, I am so sure. Even with the college's li I hope you got some. Well, let's just take a look then. And we will sell some of our loot. Ideally, mainly the enchanted loot. Um
Actually, next time. because we have a sense of humor, Kajit got your back. we're Just going to. So much room for getting things. We will give him a squeaky bat. And. Oh, did I sell the uh, squeaky shield? Or maybe I disenchanted it. Anyhow, yeah, it just looks pretty uh, so, uh, hilarious seeing um, seeing him carrying this around, which is partly why I do it. And we'll grab some of this stuff. All while taking great care not to accidentally sit down again, because that animation just takes too long to complete. Okay, we are done up here. Well, almost full. So apparently, mages get drunk a lot, which seems like a pretty terrible idea, but... And we're also looking for... Um, Wolf deer, but I am not seeing him. And this is my room, and as I mentioned, the stuff in your uh, room eventually gets replaced. So, go ahead and grab anything you find useful there, and you don't need to worry too much about exhausting irreplaceable res uh, resources. Okay, so we're done in here. We are going to visit the other um, the other tower to see if we can either enchant or disenchant anything. Yeah, this is one of the empty rooms that still gets stocked for some strange reason. So, we will loot it. Including the sack of gold. That's kind of a strange thing for the college to provide to mages unless it's their research allowance of some sort. So Phineas, he is the conjuration master. Let me know. If you would, please. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. So you wish to master the arcane arts? Is there anything we want here? Uh, nothing particularly. We could buy some soul gems from him. Sell that. Sell that staff. Oh, we didn't put our amulet of Tabella back on. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Unfortunately, I really don't remember which of these things we've already uh, learned. So I'll sell all but one of my necromancer robes. And let's sell some of the rest of Jusago's scrolls because I do not appreciate being blown up. We can sell some of the books. Well, that's good enough. Now, if you'll excuse me. You know, they say knowledge, spells, and incantations for those with the talent. To I love his enthusiasm. It's pretty hilarious. Okay. And we're actually going to get a little bit of training and illusion. Take a look. Hmm. Guess we can pick up some empty soul gems while we're here. Uh, probably sell 
some rings and necklaces. To recoup some of the cost of that. I wish that, that he would take my dragon bones, because I think I have quite a lot of those at this point. But he won't. Okay, no more enchanting for now. Let's try... So illusion is useful, uh, particularly when you can get the quiet casting perk, which uh, stops any of your spells from making noises. So we're going to start down that path. It'll take us a few levels to get there, mm -hmm. but it is really worth getting there when you can. Illusion, really. Take a look. And let's see if gaining any levels. No, we still can't get uh, invisibility. I don't quite remember what at what level he starts selling invisibility. It's super useful, but it might be uh, fairly late in the game. And we're going to step upstairs and um, The local Nords may not like us very much, but they don't seem to mind having access. Pick up some more free soul gems. Okay, and let's see if we have any filled soul gems that we can... Oh yeah, so let's disenchant anything. Okay, so a robe of conjuration, that's helpful. Minor restoration, good. And now we can use some of these soul gems that we filled. Oh, I accidentally picked up an ancient Nord bow. Okay, well, 139 or 563. That is clearly the best use of this. Glass dagger. Orcish dagger, yes. I th think I am wearing. Oh, yeah, so this is just one of the heavier. I think this is best enchantment for now. And, um, we might be wearing these now. I don't remember. Let's see, what enchantments could I... No, I don't know any enchantments that can be put on boots right now. Okay, elven armor. I definitely can enchant this to improve magicka regen. And these leather bracers, I think we might be wearing these. Can improve lockpicking. So let's see what we uh, what we're wearing now. <clears throat> we are wearing leather armor. It improves our so we have magic a regen of n extra nine percent armor of thirty two. We're 32, reach on 11%. Okay, that's definitely an improvement now. And our leather bracers are improving our general lock picking up to the level where I no longer feel really compelled to keep these guys around. So yeah, we can sell some of our stuff now. Uh, please move, Jusargo. Move. Thanks. sweet rolls. Okay. Oh, and some more potions. Always useful. So yeah, all this is helping us get restocked for more adventuring. And let's see if we have any ingredients that we have yet to learn. Oh, whoops. I shouldn't, shouldn't be using... Uh, I 
have to be careful with what I'm uh, with what I'm doing so that I'm not spending things that I need for quests on just general learning at this point. Okay, that all looks good. Now let's see what we can do. Okay. Creep cluster. More uh, and red mountain flower. Okay, nothing that exciting there. For restore stamina. So you will remember that I don't actually tend to use. Um, I don't tend to to use those potions. I tend to just sell them. But it's still uh, still kind of useful to. Uh, Continue the efforts to learn uh, to learn the extra properties of all these items. Okay. Okay. Cool. So yeah, basically, if you, if you have ingredients and they already share things in common, you probably shouldn't be trying to make a potion out of them if you're just trying to learn stuff, because that's, generally speaking, that's already everything that they have in common. I realize that's probably not the clearest way to say that, but... These middle ingredients seem reasonable. Okay, so that's all the alchemy we're going to do for now. Hey, Jazargo. You consider restoration a balance? Good. Not that I it can make life difficult with one spells and incantations. And let's see what we can sell to her. Huh. Well, we can sell these bounty letters. They're not particularly useful. Oh, some of these miscellaneous book things and robes. Good. Mm -hmm. So I think we're uh, we're done here. So let's jump down and uh, get ready to head out. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do Well, how many pots free do we have now? Oh, we don't have many pots free. We need to uh, to free up some pod. So let's head down to uh, Riverwood to talk to the Riverwood tra uh, trader and see uh, see what we can free up by selling things to the people over there. So there's two people in Riverwood that will generally buy useful stuff from you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. There's a new museum opening up. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Hobbits are too friendly for strangers. May the gods watch over your body. Okay, are you ready to buy and sell stuff yet? Hopefully. Whatever you need. Good. She and hard run the hill. Uh, it might be too early. Oh no, it's too late in the evening. Yeah. Foiled again by the um 
Write the daily cycles of the inhabitants of Skyrim. It means so much to us to have the claw back. Thank you. So take a look. So let's see what we can sell to him. Again, we're gonna focus on the dragon. Okay, so he can only buy three with his current gold supply. We might be able to... Fury is a useful spell to know, so we'll take it. Um... We will also buy his uh, soul gems, including... I guess we could buy a grand soul gem. That would give him... Considerably more uh, more gold to work with. Yeah, so we spent a good amount of money, and we can get most of it back by selling the stuff that we've been hoping to get rid of. And can dump some useless stuff to him. Do not need that. Definitely don't need the wine. So if you really want to play through the game, Without um, without restoration magic, he theoretically could carry around enough food to chow down at any given moment, but that is a pain in the butt. Okay. And yeah, we will sell that too. Uh, sweet, so that actually takes him down to almost almost uh, no gold left. It has us having gotten rid of almost everything we don't need to carry. And uh, picked up a spell and we picked up a bunch of soul gems. Looking good. Jezargo, can you take the shield? Yeah, but you have a reasonable amount of room. Yes, you can. Sweet. Because those look pretty sweet together. And by sweet, I mean embarrassingly stupid, but... You could do with a dose of humility. Okay, so... We are actually now reasonably prepared to try something a little bit more challenging. We're going to try uh, our first trip to uh, the Dwemer Ruins. And we're going to first start off with the easy version of this in Markarth. And later on, we're going to dive into much deeper runes that are going to take us into a gigantic cavern uh, that fills much of the area uh, beneath Skyrim. But we're probably not quite strong enough to do that yet, so Jazargo and I are going to uh, cut our teeth, I guess somewhat appropriately since we're both um, Khajiit. We're going to uh, cut our teeth on the, the uh, ruins in Markarth. Now it's uh, it was a little bit simplistic before to describe the uh, the Dwemer ruins as being only occupied by uh, Dwemer constructs, 
because there is another race of elves that uh, lives down there that are hostile both to you and to the Dwemer constructs. And we, it, it's kind of like wandering into a war zone. If we're smart, we can watch them mostly kill each other. If we are less smart, then we will end up between and have a tough time. So we'll have to see how smart we are. We got the key earlier, and we were asked to go uh, kill a giant spider. So we are going to do that. But what I actually mean is that we're going to do that in the next video. But yeah, this, uh, this is kind of the design aesthetic of the Dwemer, except, of course, uh, centuries, perhaps millennia, have gone by since the Dwemer were around. But that up there is what one of the constructs looks like. And we will be seeing more constructs as we go down. Now, we definitely also should be scooping up some of this stuff, but it's also pretty heavy. We're just going to scoop it up on the way out. You'll notice that its weight value efficiency is not that high, but there, uh, there are things that we can do with it to improve that before we saw it. So we'll deal with that more in the next few uh, playthroughs. And until then, uh, I've been your host, Pat Gunn.